So with um, this video today on pen ID, my inspiration came from a question on the forums from a user who had a similar sort of setup to this with multiple horizontal and vertical pen ID lines um, and wasn't interested in having all of these uh, gaps put in there. So uh, the AutoCAD break command won't work for this. So what you will need to do is do something like um, an edit on the line and put a gap in it. So if you select any one of those pen ID lines, right clicked on it, uh, and you have the schematic line edit. So this is where we put a gap in there. So we can nominate a gap point here to here. Okay, so the gap is obviously not in the correct spot. So all you can do is just pick it, drag the grip for the gap, drag the grip for the other gap. So there you can see that we still have the whole line is selected as a as a line grip, line number, but we haven't uh, affected anything in the, in the model uh, in this this pen ID, and you can still see that we have there those lines going there, and, and it does make it uh, look a little bit neater. Um, there are other options for the schematic line edit as well, which I'll go through in other videos. So I can attach and detach. I can also remove that gap if I really wanted to. Um, I could put a break in there, but uh, the break command is not the one we want as well. Uh, and even reverse flow. So something like a reverse flow, uh, you can see I've selected that line so that now that line goes from uh, south to north and all the others still go from uh, north to south. So hopefully uh, this has answered uh, your question uh, to the person who asked it on the forums.